what we want to do in order to get this client to pay us, I want you to take a screenshot of this report. All right, what is going on guys? Paul James here. Welcome back to another video today. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how a Gmail email that I sent led to a $1,000 client. I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do this. You're not always gonna make $1,000. Sometimes it'll be more like $300, but many times these can go on to bigger clients like total website redesigns. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how that works in today's video. Now before we get into this video, that doesn't mean that this is gonna be like super easy and you're not gonna, you're gonna be able to do it without doing any work. I'm not saying that. It is gonna require some work, but the cool part is, is if you're willing to put in the work, you can look forward to making anywhere from 300 to a thousand dollars. So this isn't like a pyramid scheme or like some scam. This is like a legitimate method because you're providing real services to business owners. And I'm gonna share with you not only how to do that, but I'm gonna share with you everything that you need to know, including the exact email that you can actually send out to business owners to get them interested in paying you for this. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to smash a like on this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel here because then I will update you every time I post a new video. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video to a training that goes in detail on how to land a client within seven days. It's how to land your very first client within seven days. All right, so it's very cool. Go check that out as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on my computer here and I'm gonna break this entire strategy down right now for you and show you how this works. So on my computer, I am on a tool from Google called the PageSpeed Insights Tool. You can find this tool by going to google.com and just searching Google PageSpeed Insights. And when you come to this tool and click on it, you're gonna notice that there's a box here that tells you to enter in a web page URL and to click analyze. What this tool does is it analyzes the page speed of any particular website out there on the internet. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this tool to generate a report, and we're gonna use that report as a foot in the door strategy. What a foot in the door strategy is, it's a way for us to stand apart from the crowd, from all the other businesses and marketers and all the other people out there, and we're gonna use this report, send it off to a business owner, and provide some helpful suggestions so that they can see that we know what we're talking about, we give them a solution on how to fix it, and that's gonna build trust and they're gonna eventually wanna hire us to just do it. And this might lead to other things like an entirely new website redesign. So don't worry if you don't know how this works, I'm gonna break this all down for you. Even if you're a beginner, if you're a total beginner, you're gonna understand exactly how to do this by the time this video is over. Okay, so that is what you can look forward to. So before we can get started with this tool, we need to find some prospects that have slow loading websites. So go to Google, type in any keyword or niche that you wanna work in. In this case, I decided to type in the towing industry. That's just the industry I decided to target. And I decided to target the city of Rockford, Illinois. It doesn't matter what niche or what city you target, but just pick something just like I did and do a Google search on it. Now you can go through and you can start testing these websites that are on the first page, but I'm gonna give you a tip here to save you some massive time. Most of the websites that are gonna load slow are gonna be not on the first page. They're gonna be back on like the second or the third page. Here is why. Google has an update, a search engine update, that affects people who have slow loading websites. When they have a website that loads slow, Google pushes them back down the search results. So they're likely not gonna be on page one. The people on page one are probably loading their website pretty fast. So this is the cool part about this entire strategy is when we identify these business websites that load slow, we can then pitch them by fixing this, they're likely going to rank higher in Google. So. I'm gonna go on page two and I'm gonna demonstrate this for you by picking a random site here. Let's just go with this um, Daryl's Towing and Towing. So I'm gonna click on their website, I'm gonna open it up and we can see they're a towing company. They have some information here on what they provide. All right, so that's cool. What we're gonna do is we're going to grab their URL just like this 
we're gonna come over to the Page Speed Insights tool and we're going to enter in their URL in this tool. And I'm gonna click Analyze. So what Google is going to do is it's going to run a report for me and tell me if their website is loading fast enough to be sufficient. And judging by how long this is taking, it's 75% complete, I'm guessing this is gonna get a bad score. And there it is, it got a 43. Now imagine if you got a 43 on your test at school or in college. That'd be a pretty bad grade, that'd be like an F, right? Well, Daryl's Towing, according to Google, is getting an F. They're not passing, they are failing, like totally, totally failing here. Now what we can do is we can scroll down here and we can see exactly what is wrong, which is awesome. Google literally tells us like, you know, here's what we found. You've got some unused CSS here. You've got some text compression and we've got some JavaScript that is not working out so well. So we can actually see everything that they recommend. So what I like to do from this point, and by the way, there are three easy WordPress plugins that can fix all of these problems. And I'm gonna tell you what they are during this video so that you can literally install them. You literally just go into their website, into WordPress, you install these three plugins and it fixes everything very, very easily. But what we wanna do in order to get this client to pay us, and like I said, you can start off by pitching them $300 to fix this stuff. You can also outsource this entire thing. If you go on fiverr.com and type in page speed optimization, you can find people on fiverr.com that will do this for you for like $5. There's another site out there as well called legit.com. It's L-E-G-I-I-T.com. And same thing, type in page speed optimization. You will find people on there for like five to $10 who will do this for you. But I'm gonna give you the three WordPress plugins to do it yourself if you want to. But here's what you wanna to do to get the client. I want you to take a screenshot of this report. On a Mac, you just do that by pressing Command Shift 3 and it'll take a screenshot of it. If you're on a Windows, you can just hit the Print Screen button and then go into Microsoft Paint and then paste it in there. Or you can download a tool online like Snagit is one of them that will allow you to take a picture of the, your screen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna send this exact email here. This is the email template. I promised I would give it to you so you have my permission to copy this email and send it off to all of your prospects and pitch this $300 service. So the subject line of this email is going to be quick question. And you're gonna say, your website is loading very slow for me. I'm also a web developer and noticed a few things that were causing it. Check out this image. And this is where you're gonna link that screenshot that you took of the Google report. Now this is the cool part is that if you get the URL in there, they're gonna see that this report is directly from Google. So they don't have to trust your word for it. You're just some random person, right? They don't have to trust your word for it, but this is coming from Google. Google themselves says that their website is loading slow. So you're gonna say, check out this image. Feel free to hand this off to your webmaster. Now I say this because I want them to know that I'm just a good guy providing value and if they want to take this value that I'm giving to them and have their own team fix it, that's fine, they can do that. But here's the thing guys, if their website is loading slow like this, there's a really, really high probability that they don't have a webmaster and they probably just paid a one-off fee to have this website designed a long time ago and they don't have anyone the on call right now that can fix this for them. So this is where you can come in. I say, or if you'd like, I can give you some more direction on how to correct these. I wouldn't put it off as these errors could quickly lead to your website not showing up in Google. Hope this helps, sincerely Paul. So what happens then is they're going to see this, they're going to reply and they're gonna ask for your help and you can then pitch them on your services to help them. Again, if you wanna do this yourself, if they have a WordPress website, you're gonna install these three plugins right here. I've got them listed out for you. I don't wanna leave anything left out. The one plugin is called W3 Total Cache. That's going to fix any caching issues with their website. The second plugin is called WP Smush. That is going to fix any large images on their site that is causing it to load slow. It'll optimize the images. And then the third plugin is called Auto Optimize. This is going to fix any JavaScript and CSS 
things that are going on. It's going to minify them. And some of those errors that you saw on the site that we actually ran a report on, that auto optimize plugin would fix those errors and would see a significant jump in their page speed load time. But again, you do not have to do this yourself if you don't want to. If you don't want to, go to legit.com or fiverr.com and go into the search bar on these websites and type in page speed optimization. You will find people on these two websites that provide this service for as little as $5. And you can go and charge your client $300 to do it because you went and did the work ahead of time of all this research. You went and you reached out using our proven email template that I gave you access to right now. And you're going to be the middleman then. You're going to reach out, get the client, Client's gonna pay you $300. You're gonna take $5 of that $300, give it to someone on one of these two sites, they'll fix it for you. Or if it's a WordPress site, you can fix it yourself using these three plugins. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, below in the description is a link to a free workshop. It's an on-demand training where I will show you how to get your next client in just seven days. Go check that out right now, it is awesome. Smash a like on this video and if you're not subscribed, do me a favor, drop below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon and I will update you the next time that I post a video. Anyways guys, I will see you next time. I am Paul James, peace out.